self-proclaimed owners of the tag team division. DNS on the way to the ring. Tonight, though, Melvin Talon in singles competition against a very large opponent in the form of Cabal. Well, we got two of the best dressed wrestlers right now in GCW head down to the ring. DNS, you gotta love these guys. I'm still Talent, charisma, they got it all. I'm still wondering what's in the briefcase. Maybe we'll find out someday. And maybe someday they'll be carrying the GCW tag team title belts in that briefcase. Well, the way things are looking for him right now, there's nobody that's stepping up to the plate to challenge him for those belts. You might as well just save the uh, time and award of the belts. That's my opinion on the whole thing. Until the belts are decided, DNS claim to own, to run the tag team division. And even when it is a singles match, DNS work as a team to try to attain victory. Well, when one of them wins, they both win. They both share the money. These guys are such a well-oiled machine. Their manager may not be here tonight, but they're still gonna pull out a victory. As you noted, Sadie Boy is not in attendance here tonight. I understand taking care of a little business on the West Coast. And will Melvin let the Wookiee win here tonight? I seriously doubt it. I hate Cabal. Cabal may not give him a choice here tonight. He's just a big monster. Doesn't belong anywhere near a wrestling ring. Where's this guy's keeper? Look at him. Okay, if you want to go up to Cabal and tell him he doesn't belong in a wrestling ring, you can be my guest. I got another stuff I got to do tonight. All right. And Cabal, very friendly with the ringside fans. Shaking hands. Friendly outside the ring, but you get, get inside the ring and you get him mad. Very tough customer to deal with. We just like Cabal, keep shaking those people's hand. He's another one of those guys that need the cheers to get a victory. DNS, all they need is each other. Don't know if Cabal necessarily needs the cheers. He, he just needs that massive size. Towers over practically all the opposition here in GCW. I don't think he towers over G DNS's talent or charisma for that matter. See Cabal getting the fans into this in the early going. And if Melvin Talon wants to win this, he can't let the fan reaction affect him. And right there we see that power, Cabal backing Melvin Talon right into the corner. Well, it's no doubt. Cabal is going to have the power, the size advantage of this, but uh, Melvin has the talent, so to speak. I'm putting my money on Melvin. And there's the power again. Melvin's best bet in this match would probably be to try to take Cabal down to the mat to try to wrestle him, try to out-wrestle him. When you're down on the mat, they're all the same size, as the saying goes. Oh, he's there trying to outsmart him right now. There he goes. Beautiful wrestling right there. Drop kicks to the knee. Just like I said, taking the big man down. He might be 6'8 standing up. Right now, he's only the uh, 8 inches. Cabal is laying flat on his back. Right now, Melvin working on that leg. Just like I said, take somebody down to the mat. There's no size advantage, but Cabal just kicked him off into the turnbuckles. And there's the power again. Drops him with the side slam. Cabal, though, having a little trouble standing right now. Big jumping leg drop, two count. I don't know if that was the best idea. That could just do a little more damage to that leg. That guy had any sense in his head. He would hook the leg and probably would have went home early tonight. Melvin there escaping the slam and a chop That's block. why he's a talent. He went after his leg. The ball's been on his back for the, for the majority of the match. Look at Melvin go to work. Now got the leg grapevine right in the middle of the ring. Cabal's gonna have a lot of trouble getting out of this one. I don't care how big you are. If a superior Matt wrestler ties you up in the middle of the ring, you're gonna be in trouble. But Cabal though, just dragging himself to the ropes. The fans encouraging him here. Here's where that fan support is gonna come into play. 
All Talon needs to do is uh, Talon would have had him in the center of the ring and was able to hold him there. This would have been over. And right now, Melvin spending time arguing with the official. He can't lose his focus. And right now, now we see why he's arguing with the official to let Jimmy Charisma get his licks in from the outside. What are you talking about? I don't see a thing. Charisma doesn't do stuff like that. And right now, referee Patrick Smalls turning his, had turned his attention back to the action. Right now, Melvin Talent just choking him on that middle rope. He has a five count to break at any rate. Big chop there. I don't know. I don't know if you want to trade blows with Cabal. But right now, Melvin's in control of the matchup. Reversal with a whip. Big clothesline. Another one. Talent needs to get Cabal back on his back. Oh, he went for that boot. Big mistake there. He tried to. He tried to use that bad leg, and Melvin goes right back to it. That's why he's a talent. We talk a lot of, about DNS using underhanded tactics to score victories, but Melvin Talent thus far has controlled a lot of this matchup with Cabal. I didn't know that using your wrestling knowledge was known as underhanded tricks. And what was that? Jimmy Charisma just what was what? The ring post what now. Look at Shorty Biggs interfering in the match right there. He's on the, uh, the DL list right now because of these two guys. He should put him back. Shorty said he wasn't going to let his emotions get the better of him, but he's having trouble as Jimmy Charisma is sticking his nose in on the outside. Right now, it's basically two on one. Now Melvin laying in the forearms, coming off the ropes. Takes him down with a version of the sleeper slam there. And now both men are down. One big power move by Cabal, and the tide has been turned. Melvin looks like he's out of it right now. He's barely moving. He could have knocked the wind out of him there, and right now it looks like Cabal may be the first one to get to his feet. But after the damage done to that leg, how long will he be on his feet? Melvin, Melvin, if he wants to win this, he can't lose his focus on that leg. But, oh, Cabal, he's got him in the chokehold. He could be looking for the choke slam here. He's got him close to the ropes, though. Wait a minute. Did you see that? Jimmy Charisma hooked the foot from the outside. I couldn't see a thing from my camera view. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. Melvin able to drive Cabal down to the mat. And that was an easy victory for Melvin Talent. Yeah, Melvin was Talent able, ref. Melvin was able to reverse that choke slam into almost a reverse Russian leg sweep. And he he turned that into a victory. And there you go. There's a little added bonus for you. Hit him with that briefcase. Cabal went down like a ton of bricks. A little bit of insult to injury as DNS picks up the victory and does some damage after the bell as well. I just want to see what would happen to Cabal if Sadie Blaze was in the house tonight. He left these guys with very good instructions. Maybe that's what's in that briefcase, instructions on how to beat Cabal.